In the Bible, in the book of John chapter one, we find an incredible story about when someone decided to go tell others about Jesus. It begins with John the Baptist, an incredible prophet who was baptizing people and telling them that the savior of the world was coming. Many people followed John the Baptist around. They listened to every word he said. One day, John the Baptist was with a group of people when all of a sudden Jesus walked by. Nobody knew who Jesus was at this point, but John instantly knew. John said, behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Everyone who was listening had to be wondering what John was talking about. How would he know that Jesus was the Savior? Well, it was because God had showed John that Jesus was the one he was sending to save the world from their sins. The moment John said this about Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, several of his disciples left to go follow Jesus. One of these men was named Andrew. Andrew became one of Jesus' first disciples. He listened to Jesus and learned from him. The Bible tells us something interesting. John 1 verse 41 says, the first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, come, we have found the Messiah. Messiah means the one sent from God. Isn't that interesting? The first thing he did after becoming a disciple of Jesus was go tell his brother about Jesus. Andrew brought Simon to meet Jesus. Simon became a disciple of Jesus. Jesus changed his name from Simon to Peter. You have probably all heard of the disciple named Peter. Well, imagine if Andrew had never shared the good news of Jesus with his brother, Peter. What a shame that would have been. We all need to learn a lesson from Andrew. Andrew knew that he had to obey Jesus' command to go. He didn't wait for someone else to do it. The first thing he did was go tell Simon about Jesus. Today, we are going to learn about how each one of us can do just what Andrew did. We are going to learn how we must go share the good news of Jesus with a lost and dying world. Hello boys and girls, my name is Pastor Tammy and I want you to imagine something for one moment. Imagine that you are on a hike with your friends with a great big backpack on your back. Come on, put your backpack on. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> so imagine you are deep in a forest. You got that? There are waterfalls, there are canyons, and a lot of cool places to explore. You climb the hillsides, you walk through streams, and discover lots of really cool stuff. Then suddenly, you realize something. You, your compass has stopped working. You didn't bring a map of the area. You have no cell phone signals. So your GPS is totally useless useless. And what do you do? Because you are lost. And that's a scary, scary feeling, especially as you realize it's getting real dark outside. I want you to still imagine that thing. It's getting really, really dark. So there are many wild animals in the woods who want to eat you all up, you know, because you're so yummy, you're, you're so sweet, you're so good. These animals, they want to eat you for dinner. You and your friends have no idea how to get out of the forest. You are lost. You and your friends right now, you all decide to split up. All of you decide to search different paths, trying to find a way out, trying to get back to a place of safety. And after a while, you finally, you find a path, you find a path. You suddenly find a path. You are saved. OK, you are saved, but you decide that you don't want to tell your friends about the path you found. You don't want to do that. You're going to just keep the path to yourself all by yourself. And you're saying they can figure out 
how to get home all on their own. It's not my responsibility to tell them about the path to safety. Does that sound like the right thing to do? I'm going to... No, of course not. That is not the right thing to do because if you really care about your friends, you will call out to them and tell them all about the path you found. You don't want them to die out in the wilderness. Who wants that? Heaven never found the path to safety, right? Of course not. Of course not. Okay, so now you can take your backpack off. Remember in the beginning I said, put your imaginary backpack on. But now I want you to take the backpack off because we're done with imagining things. Now I want you to talk about something. Talk to you about something real. That's what I want to do. I want to talk to you about something real, not imaginary. You know, there are some Christians who do their very own thing. I just described what I just described. They know people who are lost, but they refuse to help them find the right path. Now, let me explain. The world is lost without God. Let me say that again. The world is lost without God. You know, there are millions of people, many of them in your schools, many of them in neighborhoods who don't know Jesus. They don't know our Father, God, the Father. They are lost without Him. They are living lives of sin because they don't know Him. Sin has separated them from God. That's what it did. Sin does that. They don't know anything about what Jesus has done on the cross to pay the price for their sins. They are completely lost. But the good news is, let me hear you say the good news is. Yeah, the good news is Jesus is the way. Let me say that again. Jesus is the way. All we have to do is accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, ask God to forgive us of our sin, and we are no longer lost. We are rescued. We are no longer lost. We can be reunited with our Heavenly Father. And this doesn't just apply to a few of your friends, just a few people. Jesus died on the cross to pay the price for the sins of the entire world, for the whole world. No one has to remain lost. No one has to be separated from God. No one. They can be free and forgiven suddenly. In an instant, all they have to do is accept Jesus as the way to heaven. Jesus paid the price for their sin and wants to forgive every single person. Like I said, not just a few people, but the whole world. My goodness. The problem is that there are so many in the people in the world who have no idea who Jesus is. That really, really breaks my heart. So many people, they don't even know what Jesus has done for them. They don't know that. They need someone to go and tell them about King Jesus, just like it was our responsibility earlier to tell our friends about the path to safety. It is your responsibility to tell others about the way to heaven, the way to Jesus. And it says we must bring the message of Jesus to others. Let me say that again. We must bring the message of Jesus to others. So if you are a Christian, and I know you are, God has called you to go share his message of love to others, the message of love. Oh my goodness, because Jesus is love. We all have a story to tell. We used to be sinners, but Jesus changed all of that. We used to do bad stuff, but now we are free because we have Jesus and we can share that good news with others. It's just that simple. It is, it's just that simple. There are some people who don't understand They think it is only pastors and missionaries who are supposed to go tell others about Jesus. But it's not just about pastors. It's not just about missionaries. It's about you too. God has called all of us to do the same thing that Andrew did in our Bible story. Yes, he did. He couldn't wait to go tell his brother, Simon 
Peter that he had found Jesus, the savior of the world. Oh my goodness, somebody shared that with me one day. They told me about Jesus. And as a result, I am here to tell others about Jesus, about the savior of the world. He didn't want his brother to be lost anymore. And I don't want people to be lost. You don't want people to be lost. We must do the same thing. We have the greatest news ever. And Jesus is good news. My God, we have Jesus. Jesus has made a way for every person to get to God. My goodness, we must go and bring the message of Jesus to everyone. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this message called go. You said go ye therefore and make disciples of all people, all nations, not just a few people, but everybody. Oh God, I think that you will help those who've been afraid to share the message of Jesus with others. Oh God, help them to stand and make a decision to share their faith and spread the good news of Jesus with others. Oh God, put somebody on their heart. May they think of one person to lead to the Lord, oh God, and have them pray for that person that you will soften their heart so they will be able to receive your love, to receive your grace, to receive your mercy, oh God. Prepare their hearts for King Jesus because we don't want anyone to be lost, oh God. We want to lead them on the path of safety and not leave them in the wilderness. We honor you, Father. We bless you, God. Help them share their faith with that person this week. Matter of fact, not just one person, two people, three people, four people, just give them a heart, oh Father, to be a missionary. Everyone they come in contact with, oh God, let them tell, oh my goodness, everyone about Jesus because that's what we were created to do. And we love you, Father, for just being our friend, for just helping us to do what you called us to do. We love you, Father. We bless you. And it's in your precious son, Jesus name. Amen. Hey friends, I wanted to ask you, will you please like this video by clicking the thumbs up? And please hit the subscribe button if you like it. Then you can get all our videos. And also, can you feed me a worm, please? Thank you.